Hello, my awesome, sweet Aries people. Aries, I miss you guys so much. I love your beautiful collective energy. Thank you for your beautiful letters. Aries, um, I hope you're doing wonderful. It's Saturday morning where I am, or I should say noon by now. Um, I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend, Aries. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what are they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you aries universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of aries for aries highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey. Wow, this one wants to show up as extra message. Very important for you. Oh, you're on the right track here with something. This is you concentrating heavily on your financial stability moving forward. Uh, you're doing well for yourself, but you want to make sure that you're going to continue doing well. Financial stability. Uh, is very important to you. Yes, you, you don't want to worry. Yeah. This shows me that your soulmate is checking up on you heavily. Yeah, they're checking up on you physically. So if they are in close proximity to, to your residence. This person is checking up on you. Curious how you're doing, what's going on. Wow. This person loves you a lot. They're showing up in your reading, even though we didn't ask about them directly yet. They have a hard time expressing emotions, initiating communication. But they love you a lot. You see, look at this. You guys are not together right now. Their back is turned towards this. They're checking up on you heavily through videos like this, personal readings, in person. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, a lot. But for some reason, they're not expressing emotions right now. Like they're holding back, very guarded emotionally. They have so much love for you. Look at this. They're overflowing with emotions for you. Love. You love this person. You care for them. But you guys are not together right now for some reason. Let me see. Universe, please show us. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. Here you see a lion's face. Aries showing up here, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Like this person has a lot of pride. Uh, they're very dignified. They have a lot of pride. They view you as very attractive, available. This person is concerned that somebody else is interested in you. They view you as the catch. They view you as attractive, available, single, independent, strong-willed. So they know if they view you this way, so do others. This person is concerned that somebody else may approach you and offer you a relationship. Yeah, you see, this person is waiting. This person is making an assessment of this whole relationship, situation, connection. They're quiet, silent, completely silent at this time. Hmm. Heartbroken. This person is heartbroken, sad, retreating in solitude. This person doesn't want anyone to know. Not just you, but they don't want anyone to know in their life how deeply heartbroken they feel, how deeply emotionally uh, vulnerable they feel. Uh, this person loves you a lot. They care for you a lot, but they also heartbroken. So they heartbroken that you're not with them. There is silence though. There's no communication for some reason. Yeah, you see, they're watching you. This person has been comparing you to other people and how 
deeply attached they are uh, emotionally to you, they realize that they never felt such deep connection emotionally with anyone else in their life. Yeah, they feel deep bonds with you emotionally, spiritually. They took over your reading for some reason. Yeah, they're watching you. This person is watching you, wanting to know what's going on in your life, what you up to. Because they love you, yeah. They're watching you, watching you, watching you. Hmm. They want to fix whatever was done incorrectly. So whatever mistakes were made in this connection relationship, they want to correct it. They want to fix it. This also, this combination also of justice and emperor and more swords over here usually speaks of some kind of um, judicial proceedings or the courts or judges, lawyers, stuff like that. Hmm. Wow, what's going on here? Some kind of, again, more swords with justice. Something going on with judicial system or the courts or lawyers or judges or... Uh, huh. Hmm, interesting. They involved in some kind of uh, work. I don't know if that's what they do for a living. Something to do with judicial system. Hmm. Or something may be going on in their life that's preventing them from being with you or approaching you at this time. This person is showing up as very powerful, uh, respected by their co-workers, peers or business uh, associates. Wherever it is they work, this person is deeply respected by others, attractive, um, powerful, most likely highly educated or knowledgeable. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? You care about this person deeply. Yeah, but this is you depressed, sad, thinking that maybe uh, it's over. Yeah, you see, there was some kind of betrayal in this situation. There was some kind of betrayal. You feel betrayed. Maybe they didn't communicate with you and tell you where you stand or how they feel, but you feel betrayed. <clears throat> yeah, you see, um, this person is very much guarding their heart very carefully. Uh, they don't like to show that they are emotionally vulnerable. They don't like to show emotions. This is heavy. Now, this person took over your reading. They're thinking of you very heavily. Let's see uh, more for you, Aries. We want to see what's coming up for you, Aries. Yeah, your life, your situation. Universe, please show us what's kind of coming up for Aries and how is Aries doing. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries doing. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you do. Look at this. Look at this. You love this person deeply. But do you see how you uh, have here, the way it's painted, uh, the water is, which represents emotions, by the way, water, it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's kind of turbulent. So this has been a relationship between you two uh, that has been very emotionally turbulent, uh, with uh, many highs and lows emotionally. Yeah, it's like you didn't have steady connection. It's always uh, ups and downs, ups and downs emotionally. A lot of love, happiness, and then sadness, heartbreak. Yeah, you love this person a lot. You really do. You want this person back in your life. This is you loving them deeply. Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. You are single though. You are single available. So you definitely are not together right now. You see? You are viewed as very attractive, available, strong-willed, independent person. Yeah, you see, this is you. You've been patient with this situation. You've been very patient. It's been nerve-wracking for you emotionally. 
you are trying to concentrate heavily on your health, your wellness, your job, your business, and you're doing well for yourself. You're on the right track, whether you work for somebody else or for yourself. This is you being a very diligent worker, bringing profit in. Yeah. It was, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries doing? You're waiting for this person to take action towards you. You're being patient. Look, they want you, you want them. Look at this, nine of cups, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You love this person a lot. Yeah, I see they have hard time initiating communication. They have hard time expressing emotions for whatever reason. But they are at a crossroads and they know they're going to have to make a decision. They can't just sit there waiting for things to unfold on its own. This person is aware that they have to reach out to you, initiate this communication. They know. Yeah, it's, ooh. You guys definitely broke up. So there was a clean breakup between you two. My goodness. Uh, you may have walked away from this person. However it happened, it shows that decision was made to let each other go, to break up, at least for a while. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you really feel a great need to see them. This is you loving them, but not telling them that you still love them. Yeah. You feel like this person didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate didn't meet your needs, like they weren't available, like they didn't communicate, didn't tell you where you stand, how they feeling. What is going on here? So again, again, we show judicial proceedings. So I don't know if you guys were married or living together, if there's uh, some kind of legal separation or divorce going on. Huh. You are trying to be very patient with this situation. Definitely legal proceedings are showing up here in both readings. A judicial system, lawyers, judges. So I don't know if it's a division of assets or separation or divorce, whether it's from each other or maybe they were in a situation with somebody else. Whatever it is, it has to do with legal issues you see showing up here this shows that you have a lot of wisdom you are very intuitive you are wise you are quiet right now you are quiet you're waiting for this person to initiate this communication first you are not reaching out to them even though you feel a great need to see them because you care for them mm. this is heavy for both of you i'm so sorry you both are going through so much emotionally this is this is difficult for both of you. I feel bad for you guys. This is very difficult. Universe, please show us um, what's coming up for Aries. How is Aries doing, Universe? Yeah, look at this. Look how heartbroken you feel. You're trying to distract your mind with other things. Yeah, like your job, your well-being, your everyday life. But you feel such deep heartbreak over losing this relationship. Um, mm. Yeah, you feel so alone, neglected, rejected, abandoned in this situation. Yeah, you feel like it's beyond your control, like you've done all you could possibly do, you can't do anymore. A lot of you are dealing with the Pisces, Libra, Taurus, and Leo. But look, this is not over. Look at this. The universe will give you another opportunity to make amends, to work on this or communicate. You see, this is not over. Right now, uh, you feel like you can't do anything else. Like you've done all you could do. It's okay. It's okay. Things will happen. So this person is going to find a way to come towards you. How you're going to react to them, however, will be up to you and your free will. Yeah, you see, look at this. This is you're so sad, and so are they. They are sad. You guys need to communicate. That's what's needed here, and that communication is going to happen. Yeah. Um, hmm. Some of you were in very serious relationship with this person where... 
you are thinking of getting separated legally or divorced, you know, I have to tell you, I know so many couples that uh, were in serious relationships, got divorced and then got back together and their relationship second time was even better. It's amazing how it works. <laughs> you never know what is going to happen in life. Life can be very unpredictable. Just when we think we got the answers, really, we don't. We realize like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's so unpredictable. Um, Aries, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.